you you don't want it to become where it becomes a job. You you want to be excited about doing the work. Where were you in your journey of doing art when you started to think about the business of art? Like what um what was the catalyst to that? Was it like you spending a lot of money on doing art and you like, man, well, in the beginning, when I, when I first started painting, actually, there was someone at a, at a job that I was working. Uh, they gave me my first money to start painting. Uh, I did uh, I did a painting for their home. His name, his name is uh, Bill Douglas, and uh, he gave me gave me the money to start painting. We actually I didn't have a car at the time, and gave me a ride to go pick up the canvas and everything. And um, I started painting. I did his painting, and then I did a couple of paintings uh, for myself to start up. Um, I didn't know anything about the business. Uh, all I knew was that I wanted to show the work. So I took pictures of the work and then I walked into gallery spaces and I tried to show the work. And in some, some places they would tell me, no, no, we, we, we don't, you, you can't solicit the work like that. So, but as far as your question uh, is about fi the financial part of it, um, I realized that it was a business when I was like, okay, am I am I painting just for me or just for people to see it, or do I want to sell the work? So, so what? That's when I decided that, okay, let me show the work. At that time, because I was young, I was a young painter. At that time, it was like, let me just paint what I want to paint, and I, and I would. As I as I do now, I would look and see what people were were interested in. A lot of years went by that I did not sell paintings, um, and I and when I did sell a painting, it's almost like music. You know, you you do a bunch of songs or whatever, and then you get that one hit song. And when I got that hit song, I realized, okay, this this is resonating with that particular person. But but then I said, well, if that's if that resonated with that person, maybe I should do more more of those, you know, close to that style of painting. And then it, it just developed over time. But then you realize that if you want to get into a certain a price point or if you want to live off of your art, you realize that you have to find people who can actually spend money in that in that range that you're looking for. So yeah, um, that's that's also you know as far as the business goes, that's what you're trying to do. You, you you're creating work, and you just hope that that work resonates with people who can uh, purchase the work, and 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 also there's work that. You hope that they can show in certain places and they don't feel like, oh, I can't show this work here or it only fits in my home here. So all of those things, uh, I guess, come into play, you know, I guess. And that's, and I mean, that's just for me. I, you know, other artists, some of them, they, they just do, they do the work that they enjoy doing and, and they hope that people, you know, resonate with their work. But I, I think I'm, I, I'm just, I, I would say I'm I'm a little calculated with with the business of it, but also I enjoy the work that I'm doing. I make sure that that I don't I don't get in a place where people tell me, oh you have to make this or you have to make that, you know. So so and that and that's where I am right now. You know I I don't know what the art world has in stores like. You, you have to make this style of work because these people like that, you know. But um, right at this point, I'm, I'm able to create the work that I enjoy and also say, okay, this is the work that I've also noticed that people like, 
you you don't want it to become where it becomes a job. You you want to be excited about doing the work, and but uh, uh, at the same time, you know that there are certain things that people look at and they say, "Oh, I like that," and they and and they and they are attached to the work because of that element that you that you put in the work. You know, there are certain things out here that people relate to very well. You know, like. Like there are people who love looking at portraits. There are people who love butterflies. There are people who love hummingbirds. <laughs> you know, there are people who love looking at signs. There are people who love looking at old buildings like myself. I love I love rust and old buildings. So my my work is pretty much about trains and railroads and old buildings and, and things of that nature. And and you you have to find that audience that resonate with that that type of work, and then when you find that audience, more than likely you'll you'll sell you'll sell those those paintings.